Ay. Totally. Wait, that one's done, right? Yeah, that one's done. Ah, uh, whoa. Chat, what are y'all rating it right now? Could y'all spam some ratings, please? Spam some ratings. I got some first thoughts. I won't give a full a full review of this project. You know, I, I, first of all, I keep telling you I hate that project come out at midnight. Everybody wants to have a hot take. 50 minutes after the project comes out, I've only heard most of these songs once. I can't tell you definitively if I'm going to rock with these songs. On first listen, I'll say this. What I thought this album was going to be was the same goddamn energy that Dirk been on the last while in music. A lot of murder, murder, kill, kill shit. I'm going to keep it on with you. Pretty much drilling and killing and spinning and winning, all that type of shit. This was actually not that. This was a pretty well-balanced attempt. Now, here's the thing. You might be listening to Dirk to hear, let's ride on these niggas, let's ride on these niggas, let's spin the block, let's, let, you know what I mean, let, 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 let's get back, like all of that shit. But I think he, he, he tried to um, make a concerted effort to please a lot of different people. About it, it starts off kind of like you know, and by the way, you know, uh, uh, it starts off with him paying respects to pretty much exactly where he kind of came from. He, he kind of wrapped it up with the theme of seven two two zero. He paid respects to you know D thing. He paid respect, even shout out Nooski. Um, he really did tap into his story. You know, it, it just it's not just a collection of songs, and I get I guess this is where. We all got to think about when we think about an album, do you just want a bunch of songs like Hellcats and Trackhawks or you want that nigga to really make an album? You know, um, it sounds like an album. Now, even if it wasn't exactly the tone that I wanted, this is the mood that Dirk is on. By the time you get to about middle part of this album, it's clear. Dirk loves India. God damn it, man. That nigga loves him some India, man. Like, about four or five songs of this is straight love songs, love ballads to India. You get me? And I can't blame him. The chick, the chick was holding it down for me in a shootout. I might have to make half my album about her, too. Fuck it, okay? Um, as far as feature-wise go, I think the Summer Walker one was a pretty dope, dope move. By the way, I also noticed he made a concerted effort to make songs that women could like. <clears throat> like, once we get to... I kind of want to say, like, past, like, track six. Past track six, I think he's making a bunch of songs that women could like. Now... If you came into this album or, or you're interested in this album because of this supposed back and forth with him and Youngboy, you're probably saying, what the fuck is this? I'm going to be honest. And by the way, for whatever reason, I thought he was going to have one song on there where he was firing up at Youngboy. That wasn't the case. Which This is why Dirk is smart in a way. Dirk is a classic. He'll bait. He, 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 as I said, he, he he defeated 6 9 with the same method. You know what I mean? He doesn't talk much outside of music. He kind of baits you in to listen to the music, to hear what he got to say. And then when he drops his music, he won't make his music all about this and you. He makes his music about him, and he might have a line or two where he's kind of going at you. But, you know what I mean? Look what he did on the uh, um, uh, Please Don't Play That Little Boy in the Club because we don't listen to rats. You know what I mean? Again, he hits you with one line. You know what I mean? So I think Dirk is he's pretty smart with that. I think he also baited all the attention to this 7220 shit. That's why I think he also think about this. If you listen to this album, there's nothing about this album, in my opinion, that says Dirk wanted to be adversarial or like compete. Yet Dirk was on Twitter talking about, I dare somebody to drop on my date. Nigga, this album's this album's a, a pretty much a, you know. Half of it's half of it's about your girl. The other half is about like the homies that passed away. There ain't nothing for like niggas dropping on your date. I don't know. It's not like you over here making like a bunch of Hellcat and Trackhawks on, on this particular album. Again, once again, I still think it's a really balanced project. 
So, I don't know. I'm going to see what, what, there's a few songs that I think will, like, you know, is going to last and stick, but only time could tell. Now, remember I told you I think he was going to do 150. I'm going to still stick to 150. I think there's a range. One, 100 to 160. On the lowest of low, I can't see Dirk doing below 100. And on the highest of highs, I don't see Dirk doing like you know, doing over like 170. I would say probably 160. So between 100 and 160, I wouldn't be surprised. I think if he does anything over 120, it's a dub. Anything over 120. If he does 130, it's a dub. If he does 121, it's a dub. If he does 120, it's a dub. Again, it's all about showing that Dirk's career is growing. He's constantly taking a step up. And he's playing this shit really well because he's using some of the same tricks that other people use, except he's not doing it on social media. Well, he is doing it on social media. He's, he's making a little vague post, but he ain't like, you know, going live and just running his mouth, you know what I mean, like we would normally see. So it looks like he's unbothered. But I think he's playing this whole shit pretty good. What did y'all think? Somebody said 120 is crazy for this album. What do you mean crazy? Like crazy low or crazy high? You don't think Dirk is that hot? I disagree. You think, whoa. So y'all think he's not even doing 120. Y'all are tripping. Somebody say he's not doing over 100. Now he's easily doing over 100. Easily. Some of y'all are saying, uh, some of y'all say mid. Well, 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 here's the thing, and this is the thing about saying mid so quick. The reason why also I'm not giving, like, you know, like, oh, I think it's this or that is because I'm telling you, I think we thought that we we're going to get a different album. We thought we we're going to get a tracked out version of, like, what Youngboy did with I Hate Youngboy. We thought Dirk was going to go ballistic and diss every nigga, send mad shots, call niggas hella pussy. I thought I think that's what niggas kind of nigga. I turned it on for that reason too. I'm like, yo, dirt about to violate these niggas, man. You get me? But it's clear, as I said, that's why he's smart. He baited you in with the fuckery, and then made his album. That's I, I'm gonna say it's more timeless because he's not necessarily talking a, about a beef or a nigga for the moment. Somebody said, look how Roddy flopped. It could happen to Dirk. The reason why, okay, okay, let me let me do the Roddy comparison when it comes to Dirk. Dirk has been quietly dropping music, consistency, consistent. Remember, remember the thing with with, with Roddy is I said he he stopped being consistent in dropping music. He just had people waiting. Dirk honestly been dropping songs like other than Young Boy, I think Dirk been dropping probably the most music. Every every so often he would come out with a video. I think the fans were there, and I think the last album with the sales. Remember he dropped it on Tuesday, so he did like twenty seven first week, which was two days of sales. Then the next week he did like seventy something, right? I just think he's been quietly building, and now everybody is paying attention to him. That this album it has to do hundred. Somebody said, you think more drill would have helped the album? Again, if you ask me, I want that. 
even though we're all hypocrites, right? Because if, if if he was on here dissing Duck, dissing every young boy, um, Quando and all them niggas, you know who would have said? Man, Dirk, you over here perpetuating the fuckery, perpetuating the violence. Like, you can't please fans. You know what I mean? Like, we going bitch wherever. Man, if Dirk don't stop talking about the dead. But in reality, think about it. We listened to that whole album and we wanted to, we wanted that nigga to diss, diss somebody dead. <laughs> like, if, like, nobody going to say it. <laughs> nobody going to say it. <laughs> like, we hypocrites as fuck. If he was on that shit violating mad dead people would have been like, yo, Dirk, you wildin'. But Loki was still going to bump it. We listened to the album. He's saying, yo, rest in peace. And he's shouting out his dead homies. He's keeping it respectful. We're like, damn, man, we want more drill. <laughs> you can't please niggas, man. Somebody said kind of made. And, and well, well, here's the thing, too, though. I think he has a strategy with this. Because I think those girl records, he's hoping to be crossover records. Now, Dirk has never been a stranger to be making, uh, um, you know, kind of chick type records. Remember, show to you my Beyonce. I remember that that record. He's made tons of songs like that: Homebody, Internet Sensation, Viral Moment. Uh, um, um, name some more. He just has tons of songs where it's like you know he's singing a lot more. I think one of the one of the reasons though why Dirk caught like a a hot streak is he reduced the singing. And he kind of got on that no auto Dirk shit, which I thought was all inspired by Vaughn. Like Vaughn came with a particular style, dissing niggas, name dropping. And once Dirk adopted to that a little bit, not that Vaughn created it, but it was an energy about it. Niggas started, niggas started really rocking with, with Dirk a lot more. Not that they weren't before. Somebody said we want to drill, not R and B. Somebody said I think he's scared to turn up because of open case. That maybe I don't know. Like I ain't gonna lie to you. It it was interesting to hear him literally put a disclaimer in front of this song. Hey, this shit like videos, you hear me? Everything I'm saying this motherfucker all props. This shit. It's like he know this shit finna be played in court. Hey yo, by the way, before I diss all these niggas and call them bitches and talk about how we like shot them up, uh everything I'm saying is fake. <laughs> He's putting a disclaimer on the fucking song. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Meanwhile, that nigga young boy, he don't give a fuck. That nigga young boy said, nigga, I'm a real blood. <laughs> like, wait, 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 wait. I don't think I don't think you wanna say that before you walk into federal court, my brother. <laughs> Not real. Just in case the police listen, I'm not. I speed me up. Slide, slide, Man, we don't respond to shit. We fun. I'm like, fuck. Okay, and I think that AHA track kind of set us up too. AHA and Piss Me Off, which are two songs he threw out before, right? Which we all thought of as street singles. <laughs> nigga, right now I can see this nigga NBA young boy just like. In a dark room, just doing the Birdman hand rub. This nigga about to go ballistic when his shit drop. This nigga, young boy. <sighs> nigga, if you thought I hate young boy was anything, this nigga about to just go just retarded. <laughs> this nigga might dis. <laughs> Yo, this thing might find some new niggas to this. Nah, Dirk ain't selling under 100K. Nope. It's, it's interesting to me that he went with that Golden Child song as a song today. To shoot a video to. Or drop a video to. I like the, I like the song with Gunna. What happened to Virgil? By the way, by the way... Let me ask you a question. You know how sometimes you, you kind of, you know what type of beat, like, niggas going to rap on? Like, 
I feel like I've heard Dirk on this type of beat with that, that piano like a million times. Vaughn raps on this same type beat too. Oh yeah. Somebody said, why am I caping for Dirk? Bro, here's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Dirk's sales isn't about how good I think this project is. It's the hype and excitement going into the project. A lot of times what y'all don't realize about sales is you sell the project before the project is out. This is Dirk cashing in on the hype he's built up for the last two years. You get what I mean? So I get it. Y'all want a bunch of like more harder songs. Y'all want this kill, kill. First of all, let's be very clear. Any album that have sold over 150 don't just have a bunch of like, you got to think about songs like Piss Me Off, Hellcats, and Trackhawks. Like, I know they got a chorus, but it's basically almost like a non-chorus, just kind of like, like just a rapping track. It's not really built for like, you know what I mean? It's not formatted for like radio. It's not formatted for um, consumption by the masses. As opposed to some of these songs... Which are, and what I mean by that is like, usually like if you're trying to make like a very radio pop friendly song, a song that, you know what I mean, is catchy, like you're going to structure it a certain way. Songs like Hellcats and Trackhawks, Piss Me Off, and a bunch of those other tracks that we like, we just like it because he's saying hard shit. You get me? Of course, like if, if there's a little hook or whatever, like it, it, it'll be catchy a little bit, but it's not catchy to the whole fucking world. So these tracks that he's he's making on this particular project, I think he's trying to do it that they have some longevity, that they could have some legs, that they could do some other things, which obviously is not going to really count for the first week. But I think he put a different type of energy into this project because he wants this shit to last. And he wants it to bring him to the next level. So... As I said, I think he sold this album before the album dropped. On my nigga, as long as he recorded 15 tracks, no matter what the fuck he was rapping about, he wasn't going to sell under 70K to me. He sold this album already. He sold it with hype. That's what y'all don't understand. We've seen mad albums that maybe weren't that good, but it was already sold with hype before the shit even dropped. Now, you could tell if something's good based on does it stay on the charts? How long it stays on the charts? Does it start slow and then pick back up later on in a few weeks? Or you drop it one week and then afterwards it just drops out of the top 10, drops out of the top 50, Drops out of the top 100, drops out of the top 200. Dirk is selling 100K off hype, not even off none of these songs. Hype. And it's the right now, Dirk and Youngboy, just purely off hype. I think they both have 100K built in to whatever they drop. Now, of course, they got to promote the shit, which is usually young boy's biggest problem. He don't promote shit. But Alamo, Interscope, they going to turn up. Somebody said, Dick Rodden, now nah, y'all tripping. It's mid, 60K max. Bro, you got to be like somebody who just hates Dirk. Maybe maybe you're just a young boy fan or maybe you're, like, you're just like 6'9 or something like that. Bro, like, you got to be delusional to think that he's selling 60K. Are you crazy? Somebody says, Dirk should have given you an interview. I'm not tripping over it. I'm not tripping over it. Um, And also, I'm going to be honest with you. I respect him for, um, I don't know if I told you. Like, so, so he, he Dirk had hit me and Dirk said, Dirk said, um, yo, I, I wasn't going to do press for this album. You know, I'm, I'm telling you exactly what he says. I wasn't going to do press for this album. 
but I had promised Gilly an interview from a year ago. And I did it. And he said, if I do any more outlets, I'm I'm gonna make sure I sit down with you. But I really wasn't trying to do press. And I'm gonna be honest with you, like again, I gotta believe him and take him on face value, bro. Like you know, what I mean, like I'm not I'm not gonna be the entitled motherfucker. You get me? Also, here's one of the things where you, I'm humble enough to respect that. He at least gives you an explanation. Most of these niggas won't even give you an explanation. You get me? So the mere fact he even tried to explain, like, yo, bro, honestly, though, I wasn't going to do no interviews, whatever, whatever. I did that. You know what I mean? And, and, and also, I get it. Like, I think he wanted to do the Chicago look, the Chirac look. I think they went to shoot that in Chicago. Gillian Waller went there. I think that's dope. I get it. The mere fact that, again, put it like this. And, and, and I just, I, I talk about Dirk. And I compare him to, like, even his peers in the game. Like, think about this. Nigga, I had, a, uh, nigga, I had hit up um, Keith. Nigga, Keith wouldn't even respond. Until I went off, he wouldn't even respond. At least Dirk going to deal with you like a human. Be like, all right, yo, bro. Blah, 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 blah. And, and, and I think that's why he's winning. Somebody says, act, the reason why he didn't get the interview is because of 6 9 Nah. Mm-mm. Bro, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I don't even, like, I don't think none of these dudes, like, I don't even think really any opportunity really has ever been denied to me because of 6 9 I think most artists are usually smart to, to know that, be like, yo, it's act, you know? And if it's somebody who, quote, unquote, didn't fuck with me because of 6 9 they didn't fuck with me before. <laughs> you get what I mean? So, like, 6 9 just becomes, like, the, the oh, th- that's the reason or whatever the case is. Somebody said, nah, fuck that act. He was using you and he wanted hype. Um, well, I mean... Hey, I try not to look at stuff like that. And by the way, again, I, like, I don't feel, I don't feel like, you know what I mean? Like, I honestly feel like, yo, Dirk, Dirk would do an interview with me, bro. And it's not only about doing an interview. I see, I see Dirk genuinely, despite what I post, and you gotta, you see, that's another thing too, right? It's not all about an interview. Despite what I post, I post like young boys saying some really bad stuff about him and his family, him and his people, this and third. And it'll be the very next post where I'm like, yo, oh, Dirk, Dirk has a song coming out. And Dirk is in the comments. He's in the comments. He supports the he supports the platform. So you gotta be honest. Like, you know what I mean? I, I get it, like, you know, a lot of people are with the interview, interview shit, but what I'm trying to say is like he clearly supports the platform. You know what I mean? So it's like to to get bent out of shape knowing that, you know, um we'll definitely get a chance to do some other shit. And we've done stuff before. Okay, okay. All right. Uh the the yo, yo, y'all really want me to like nah, I'm not upset at Dirk, man. I'm not, man. Listen, put it like this. I would feel a way if I see five more interviews pop up and, and he ain't hit me. I would. But bro, he did one interview. I understand like sometimes like Shit, I don't really do podcasts. And by the way, like, I'll give you an example, right? Yo, you know, it's been years that I had, like, promised, or, like, not promised, but I told Vlad, I was like, yo, Vlad, yo, I'm going to lock in with you. I don't really do, like, a lot of interviews like that, but I'm going to lock in with you to do a Vlad TV interview. Now, you know, obviously people have whatever they think about Vlad, but, like, he's been cool with me, and I, and I wanted to do it, right? I did No Jumper twice. Um, I did flagrant two. I did that, and every single time Vlad always hit me up after, like, yo, act, what's up? When we gonna lock in? You know what I mean? Vlad comes on my platform. It took a couple years, but of course, when it, when the time came, nigga, of course I had to go do an interview with Vlad because he showed me nothing but love, and I and I and I promised him from years ago that I was gonna do some shit with him. So listen, I understand that type of shit, man. I don't get bent out of shape. 
So once I'm kind of tight, no, I'm not tight. Yo, y'all are bringing it up. Like I'm not tight. I re yo, from where Dirk, from where Dirk came from. And by the way, I always tell people this. Some people are like yo, Dirk probably don't like you or don't fuck with you or whatever. Dirk, like Dirk will tell you too. When Dirk wasn't that popular, and you know, he was going through with Def Jam. And I remember, like, he used to kind of, like, DM me stuff, like, yo, Aki Kaposis. A lot of them did, right? Like, Reese, Dirk, a few of them. And, and I said to Dirk, I said, Dirk, listen. And that's how I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gaining a lot of steam in terms of platform. I literally, and he'll tell you this. I told him, I said, listen, I don't care where I get to in my career. Remember, this is Dirk just getting dropped off the label. I said, I covered you guys in Chicago, and it definitely helped with where I where I've brought my brand to. I will always post y'all niggas, even if even if nobody fucks with y'all music. And that time they were, they were still making more Chicago centric songs. Me and him we chatted for a bit, and he's like, "Yo, act, I fuck with you for that." That's why every time when he acts, he said, "Yo, yo, act, you want um, can I um, what he said." Uh, he'd be like, yo, 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 you want to play 2K when my 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 project drop, blah, blah, we could just, whatever, like, it's kind of like a listen party. I'm like, yeah, let's do it, nigga. So I don't feel like, I feel like I'm talking about this. It makes it feel like I feel it away. Chat, is y'all keep bringing it up? Y'all keep bringing it up. I fuck with Smirk, man. And that's why, by the way, I think that understanding is the reason why Dirk don't really, Dirk know that not because I'm posting Young Boy. Or maybe young boy dissing him that I don't fuck with him. And that's why when y'all said, oh no, 6ix9ine, no. Like, bruh, he, whatever he has with 6ix9ine is what he has with 6ix9ine. You know what I mean? And same with um Young Boy. You know? I try to stay out of those type of situations. Anyway, um, what do y'all like let's keep having some thoughts about the album. He's about to drop an OTF joint project after this. He said, Oh, he's, he told Wallow that? Really? A OTF joint project. He had dropped one of those before. That shit went hard though. Somebody said he know you picked a side, that's why. Brother, could y'all stop with this pick a side nonsense? I keep telling y'all. This is hip hop and niggas ha yo nobody is fucking um um nobody is, is is this ain't war like there's no picking a side you know what I mean there's literally no picking a side they ain't, this ain't war especially for the media members now I'm not going to lie some people like to like some people like to th this is how people play pick me for example They'll, they'll clearly, quote, unquote, pick a side because they want a favor from one or the other. Put it like this. If I wanted to be like, oh, shit, well, you know, like, yo, I'm I'm just cherishing, like, the relationship I have with Dirk. Nigga, I would just never post Youngboy. If I was like, oh, man, I want to cherish the fact that Youngboy fuck with me. Nigga, I would never post Dirk. But, nigga, I, I also operate on the fact where it's like, even if both of them got mad at me for posting the other, I'd rather not be cool with none of them. You're not going to have me like, like, nigga, this is media. <laughs> this is media, my money. I'm sorry. You know? Uh, Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, Tory Lanez dropped a song, didn't he? Shit. I heard he, 